Blessings, blessing everyone, blessings from Eat Good TV. Today we are making brown stew oxtail. Let's begin. Here are the ingredients we need. We need our bell peppers. I have red and green here. I'm gonna use a half of the bell pepper each. Onion, tomato, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, scallion, garlic, gravy master, and this is some jerk jerk season. A little I like to put a little jerk season in for flavor. It's not that you're making jerk oxtail, but you just put a little bit in there for flavor. And this is green season, all-purpose season, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and black pepper. Wash and clean your oxtail twice with lemon and vinegar. This is the vinegar I use, and I use lemon to wash and clean the oxtail so i wash it and drain it and wash it again and drain it and this is the oxtail clean and i remove all the fats most of the fat put your salt and black pepper and this is a small amount of salt because the all-purpose seasoning have salt small amount of salt and i add black pepper to it garlic powder onion powder garlic powder and onion powder one tablespoon garlic powder one tablespoon onion powder half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon black pepper and two tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning And the jerk season is dry jerk. I'm not making jerk oxtail, but it give it a very nice flavor. One tablespoon dry jerk. And a tablespoon of green seasoning. And the green seasoning, you'll find it in the link. One tablespoon. Three scallion. I just like to beat mine. But you can cut it up if you want it. Just cut it fine. Or you can just do it like that and just bring it with your hand like this to get out all the flavor out of the scallion like this. You can do it like that. And just put it in. Add your onions. One large onion, very large onion. This is large. One large onion. Bell peppers. Thyme. Place your tomato with a half of scotch bonnet pepper. And this is one tomato. I leave the next tomato for, for later. I'm gonna put it in there later. Two tablespoon of gravy master. One, two. Two tablespoon of gravy master. And pimento allspice. I grind mine, but you can use a dozen of the whole ones. This is the whole one. If you want to use a dozen, you can. But I grind mine, and mine is about a tablespoon of grind pimento allspice. And just massage the meat with all the ingredients. I 
I'm gonna add the garlic. I forget to add the garlic. So I'll add the garlic too. Crushed garlic. One teaspoon of crushed garlic. This is the garlic. Just add the crushed garlic to the mixture. And just get in there and just massage the meat. You know, make sure you get everything. But this is very delicious. Oxtail is a very good meat. Very delicious. Very delicious meat. And you can serve it with rice and peas, white rice, ground provision. Very delicious. Just get in there and work that meat. Place your your meat in the bowl. In a plastic, you can leave it in the same container and just cover it with a cling wrap, or you can just place it in another container and cover it. So I'm just gonna place this in the container and cover it. And leave it for leave it for 30 minutes to 45 minutes before you put it in the fridge because in the olden days they would leave it before they put it in the fridge for 30 minutes or 45 minutes so all this season can marinate and you know, everything can marinate together nicely so they'll put it in the fridge or ice box whoever have ice box they'll put in the ice box or the refrigerator It's overnight now, so this is how the oxtail would look. Season and marinate. So I'm gonna remove all the, the season and place the oxtail in the pot. But before that, I have to put two tablespoons of coconut oil. Back in the days, they didn't have browning, so they would put olive, they would put, not olive oil, coconut oil. But they only used coconut oil back then. They would put coconut oil and two tablespoons of sugar and when the sugar is caramelized then they add the the meat without the seasoning to the pot so this sugar is gonna caramelize and turn brown And this is how they made the browning. So add your meat to the pot without the seasoning. So we're just gonna add the meat to the pot. And just take the seasoning off the meat and just add it to the pot. Hope everybody is okay. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Just tell all your friends and family. And when one side is brown, you just turn the meat over to the other side. It is brown on one side, so I turn it over to the next side to let it brown. When the next side is brown, then I add all the seasoning. The meat is gold brown on both sides, so I brown it on both sides. So I'm just gonna see it's brown on, it's brown on all sides. I'm gonna add the, the seasoning to the pot. Add all your seasoning to the pot. Then you just stir it through. 
Now that everything is brown and caramelized, add hot water, add boiling water to the pot and cover the meat. So I'm gonna add the boiling water so you don't stop the cooking process. And I cover the meat and let it cook for two hours. Make sure the meat is totally covered. And just let it cook for two hours. It's an hour and a half, add some more season to the pot. So I'm adding one tomato and some scallion. Clean hands, make sure your hands are clean. And the water is dry down, so I add some more water to it. Add some more water to your pot. And cook for a half an hour more. It's an hour and 50 minutes. Taste your oxtail. And it's smelling up the place. Taste your oxtail. It should be dropping off the bone by now. And it depends on the cut of the oxtail. Some take longer to cook. And you can put it in the pressure cooker and just add everything in the pressure cooker. And it will cook with, within 30 minutes. Mmm, delicious, 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 delicious. At this time, you're gonna, you can add your beans. You can add the beans at this time. So I'm gonna add the beans. You can add your beans in the pot, and you can add. This is not um, authentic, but you can add some ketchup, like two tablespoon of ketchup and one tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna put it in the description box. You can add it with the beans. Remove your cover and plate, plate your oxtail. The gravy, the gravy is very rich, rich gravy. There you have it family, your authentic Jamaican oxtail, oxtail or cow tail, whatever you want to call it. But this is the authentic Jamaican oxtail. Bye from Eat Good TV. Love you. Wish you all the best. Bye.